Three tight ends. Fake the pitch. Looking for one of those three tight ends and Gabe McKenzie, but Cox just had to throw it away. The pressure came quickly from Avery, Avery Hannibal. Auburn in the red zone today. A couple of possessions, and they do pick up one touchdown in that red zone look powered behind the generators for the ultimate tailgating experience. Well, one of the things that's happened to Brandon Cox in these first three football games, the decision making has been a little off. Not the Brandon Cox we've seen the first three years of his career. Great decision there as he throws the football away, allows the offense to line back up again. Tenth play of this drive coming up. It's gone 67 yards. Oh, Carl Stewart is met at the 10 yard line by Anthony Johnson, and I can hear the explosion up here. Whoa. Wow. This is a good job by Johnson. He's playing a zone corner to the flat. He's just reading the quarterback. Perry slips into the flat. Carl Stewart slips into the flat. It's really the only throw that Cox had, but a good job of Anthony Johnson reading it from a zone corner spot to make the hit. Four out of six for 42 yards for Cox on this drive. To the end zone, batted away at the last minute. Tipped by Jamon Hughes. Cox was looking for his tight end, Tommy Trott. Dominic Douglas, the linebacker, is going to float back. And Hughes, get, Hughes gets a piece of it. Dominic Douglas was looking to make the hit. But Hughes and Pegues were there. Hughes gets the tip. Does a nice job. Or, I'm sorry, Jamar Chaney. My bad, Dave. Jamar Chaney got the tip. Nice job from the linebacker spot to knock that away. Brandon Cox about to take a timeout with 53 seconds left. And the Tigers got to stick it in the end zone. But Brandon Cox. The second timeout of the second half has led this team down the field and they face a fourth and nine. What will happen? Stay with us. Did you say All from the nine, Jamar Chaney with the play of the day a moment ago, deflecting a pass, and now the defense has to stand tall again. Cox pump fakes. Nobody open, and the Bulldogs stand tall. And they will take over with 48 seconds to play. Barring a major mishap, they'll pick up the road win in Auburn, Alabama. Well, Titus Brown gets some pressure on Brandon Cox, but I'm not sure why he decided to turn it loose. Brown's working to the left side. He runs to the inside, and it looked like Brandon Cox decided, okay, I gotta get this out of here. I'm out of time. He had a chance to sidestep the rush and buy a little bit more time and decide to get it out of there. So credit, credit Mississippi State to put some pressure on the quarterback, make him throw the football away. How about this? Sylvester Croom, this club will go to one and one in SEC play. And I gotta tell you something. This is a much better football team than what we saw on the Thursday night, and you have to take into account who they were playing in the SEC opener. Well, no question, LSU is a cut above probably everybody in the country, but what Sylvester Croom has done is he's gotten back to the backbone of his team. That's run the football with the big man, Dixon, let him pound the running game, take care of the football, create turnovers on defense. They created five today, and, and, and you come away with a victory. Impressive stuff. They rode the big shoulders of Anthony Dixon, who had 29 carries, 103 yards, and it's the Bulldogs' first win since 1999 here at Auburn when they beat the Tigers 18 to 16. Today, it was 19 to 14. Sylvester Croom is a happy man heading off to that visiting locker room. We'll have more in just a moment.